What's up, everybody? It's time to start a brand new Wordle theme. And this is thanks to Brian Ninja. Of course, it starts on October 1st. It's going to last a full 31 days. Look at that. It's number 1200. That's pretty cool. And um, we have to do something important, guys, because um, according to the rules that I established, um, we are starting with a single word. And uh, each day I'll put in the current word, and then I'll announce the next day's word for Brian Ninja's awesome list. But we have to go into hard mode, okay, back into hard mode, just to give it a little bit of an extra challenge. The words themselves are, I wouldn't say, you know, one of those uh, jazzy, xylil um, type words, not at all, okay? They're just really great quality uh, October Halloween themed words. And so we'll just give it that extra little twist with the hard mode. Guys, guess what? We're going to start with scary today. So I am going to ask, did we get scary in one? Because although we've had scare, we haven't had scary. Um, did Brian Ninja hand us a victory? No. Okay. But that's fine. That's just the first day. We've got 30 more to go. <sighs> Let's see. What would be a good word we could do next after uh, scary coming up blank? Um, we'd love to use a bunch of these, um, wow. Okay, we, we actually have all the vowels left, don't we? Except for the Y and the, and the A. Um. Is that a word? I'm gonna, I know it wouldn't be an answer, but I just love the fact that it would just give us the rest of the vowels. Um. Bowie? No. Okay. Now, it, the funny thing is it would take that, okay? Uh, Bowie, I think. Yeah. I'm willing to do it. I know it's not the, it's just not the best play, guys, but we'll, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll rebound in a few more days, but um, I'm not going to ask if we got it because I doubt it would be correct, but it's fine. Let's just try Bowie. Okay. Uh, but here's the good news. We have all of our vowels established, don't we? And I actually have some really good news. The E can only go, it can only go forth, right? I don't think you're going to have something like this. So we are looking at this. Um, I mean, you could do voted. Um, I'm sure it would take it. It would definitely take it. Um, but it's like past tense. They usually do more like irregular past tense, like drove, which is actually still a word, like an, it could be a noun. Um, what, what else could we do here? Uh, starting off with a little bit of a longer video for our first one here, but that's okay. Um, uh, you know, it could be hotel, um, but we have had it. It could could end in uh, X something X. Um, so voted sort of, but not really. Um, whoa, 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 whoa! We didn't test the U. Oh shoot! Okay, hang on. So we still know the X is like that, but I don't think there's going to be a U. No, I think the U is out. At least I think. Um, noted is, I don't know, it's the same thing as voted. T noted, um, a, like a noted... Oh, okay, but like a noted achievement. Yeah, let's give it a shot. I mean, I don't think we got it, but I'll ask. Did we get noted in three? No, not even close. Okay, we'll try the D here. Um, dozen? No, we, we won't have dozen. There's no N. Um, dowel? No, there's no W. Try the D here. 
modem. Hope I'm not entering a little trap. Uh, but are we going back to the 80s when we would dial up into the internet using a modem? Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, that's awesome. You know, I'm okay with that. For solve, that was a very tricky word, especially coming up empty on scary. I don't think Bowie was a disastrous guess, and I'm pretty confident that noted hand us the answer. Guys, tomorrow, we're going to start with ghost. We could have actually used it as a two-word combo, scary ghost. We would have just repeated the S's, but that's okay. So tomorrow, again, we'll just go with that single word entry, ghost, play in hard mode. Run this game alongside me, guys, for all 31 days. Maybe if I've got a little time, I'll keep tally, and we'll see who came up uh, victorious, just as like a fun little... Um, you know, just like a fun little challenge, nothing too serious, but there you have it, modem and four. Um, I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Avoid -o. What's up, everybody? It's time for strands. We're going to do it for October 1st. Let's see if they start sneaking in some Halloween themes just the way we are uh, on our um, Wordle channel surfing. I mean, of course, the first thing that comes to mind would be like, um, Surfing, a cha surfing channels on, on cable. So I'm kind of looking for cable television. But then channel surfing. Hmm. But that could be something kind of cryptic or something with like a hidden meaning. Because like I'm looking at history. Okay. Yeah, I got it. We are looking at channels. Um, we're just we're not putting in words related to channel serving, like a remote control or cable TV. We're looking at the history channel. And I saw, I was looking at Mark and I was thinking maybe bookmark because like you bookmark a page, you look at its history, but it's hallmark. And I think that means our span gram will go sideways. Okay. Uh, yeah, has to go sideways. Okay. So, history, a hallmark, what would be the spangram? It's hard to say. Um, discovery, ooh, that's a nice chunk. That might help us solve this. Okay. And I think there's, is there lifetime? Yeah, it's sort of wrapping around. Lifetime, yep. Network, got it guys. All right, here we go. Boom, Spangram first. And now we're gonna nail this. I think I've found almost all of them. I'm not sure what this thing up in the upper right is. It could be one or two of them, but let's get the rest. History, Hallmark, Lifetime. And uh, there's just one more to go. Hmm. What is this? Po pound, pounder, oh, Pounderama? Rama. I feel like it's something Rama. Whoa, okay. This thing got me. Oh, that's too bad. We did so, we were doing so good. Ouch. Okay. Ram. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. It could be something mount. Paramount. Ah, okay. Oh, that was so stupid of me. Paramount. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, guys, that was actually really, really good. Um, and I actually think, you know, we did that in under five minutes and uh, we got all the little bells and whistles. Spangram first. We didn't uh, hit... We didn't have to use any hints. We didn't have to acquire any irrelevant words. Wow, that was very, very cool. 
Um, I don't really watch TV at all anymore just because you can watch anything you want on YouTube. I just find it so much easier. I find it very, I don't know, I, I just can't even figure out how to access all the myriad channels available. So I don't even bother. Let me know if you guys are the same way. Do you just watch what you need on YouTube or do you enjoy uh, surfing the networks? Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Strands. What's up, everybody? It's time for Connections for October 1st. Um, whoa, 42-day streak. So that's six weeks consecutively uh, without failing this game. Okay, let's see if we can keep it going. Today we've got Quick, Lather, Current, Condition, Sweat, Sanitize, Tizzy, Cascade, Shape, Stew. I'm reading these slowly just because I'm trying to get, you know, I love it when I can pick something off right away on the first read, but nothing really. Normal, rapid, rinse, health, form, and wave. I mean, rinse, lather, condition. And shape. These are things you could do to your hair. You could try to shape your hair, condition your hair, rinse your hair, lather your hair. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. I'll just try to keep them somewhat separated. I mean, it's okay. The thing is, I'm, you, I'm so nervous about, like, you know, picking up immediate fake categories. Did you guys see what happened to poor Doug yesterday? I felt terrible, and I know exactly what he experienced. So, I, it didn't even occur to me, um, even though I am familiar with the Golden Girls, but the poor guy selected Sophia. Blanche, Dorothy, and Rose. I would have never made that connection. I forgot all their names. I think Blanche was the one who was uh, um, a little bit ra on the more racy side. Dorothy might have been the one played by B. Arthur. Okay, anyways, getting a little bit distracted. So my point is that, yeah, and then after that failed, and I think that was a rainbow category, um, poor Doug wasn't able to, um, I think it really got to him. And that's happened to me before where you're so confident and you're like, oh, it's gotta be this. And you feel super clever. And I thought that was very clever that he discovered that. Um, and then it's not correct. Oh, it just takes away all your thunder and your momentum. So I want to be careful is what I'm trying to say, even though this looks okay. So we're going to be cautious and see what else is left. You've got some health. Whoa. Cascade. Okay, quick, rapid, quick, rapid, cascade, wave, and current. Okay. These sound like current, rapid, cascade, and wave. These sounds like, okay, and that's kind of cool because it would be another category. These just sound like things, um, Ways that water can basically form. It can form and it can create a current or form in a current, a cascade, which is like a waterfall, a wave, and rapids, a rapid. Water, something like water features. Water features or formations, I guess you could call it. All right, and then we would have, again, that hair category. And then we still have stew, normal, Oh boy. Sanitize. Oh wow, this is going to be tricky. Sanitize. Form. Quick. Sweat. Tizzy. Like you're in a bit of a tizzy. I can't give you the precise meaning on that, but I think we'll, you know, we'll work with it. I have no idea, by the way, yesterday how I got away with that ambergris category. But for some crazy reason, it just seemed like it would be some sort of a scent. Um, but I slowly discovered that it's actually found in whale intestines and it's used for that purpose. I um, kind of want to just get something out of the way. I really like this. Are these uh, water formations? Fast moving water. Okay. Fair enough. But, you know, water, I think, is the key there. Okay. All right, um, I'm going to keep these highlighted. 
your lather, I mean, come on, lather, unless it's some wordplay, it has to be that. You can lather your hair, you can shape your hair, you can condition your hair, and you can rinse your hair. Okay, and then here we have nothing. I have no idea what these are. Quick, health, sweat, stew, sanitize, normal, form, and tizzy. I don't think tizzy is going to be part of a phrase if there is one. So I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I'm in a bit of a stew. I'm in a bit of a... Mm. Bit of a... She's like, you could... A tizzy, a stew. But I don't think it would be a quick or a sweat. Oh man, let's just go ahead and try this. Are these things you can do to your hair? No, okay. Well, maybe that's a good thing, okay? I'm gonna try not to let that affect me. Um, that's okay. That, that could be a good thing because maybe we really needed to re reconsider how these could apply to the others because I didn't have anything with those other eight. All right, so we, we burned a guess. We have blue out of the way, which is good. So let's deselect and let's shuffle and just start from scratch here, okay? Oh boy. Wow, that had nothing to do with hair. That's incredible. Okay. Sanitize. Okay, wait. We're in a bit of a we're in a bit of a tizzy. We're in a bit of a no, that still doesn't work with those other words removed. Could this be wordplay with uh, names? You've got Stew, like Stuart. No, that's not going to work. Darn it. Uh, you could, con oh, this is back to where we were, but you could condition something, you could shape it. Oh, my goodness. Darn it, I overlooked something so obvious. This is just, you know, obviously what condition you're in, what shape you're in, what form you're in, what health you're in. I'm sure that'll be easy. That's got to be yellow. Uh, this is your fitness level. Darn it. Fitness, okay. Okay, yellow and purple. Um, and I have to hustle, guys, so if we get yellow, I'll just kind of click away at purple yeah, yeah, if I can't figure it out within a minute. So now we just, so now is it back to lather? Hmm. I mean, sweat, stew, rinse, and lather. Ah. I mean, I'm not sure if I like that. I mean, they all sort of involve water. You can rinse something, you can lather it. Hmm. Yeah, you can stew it and you can sweat it. You can let it sweat. Are these all different ways of treating something with water? I mean, you can sanitize it with water, but I, you know, it doesn't have to be water. No, one away. Oh, my God. Okay. What? Okay, so maybe, I mean, it couldn't be uh, normal. Okay, we're not talking about types of hair. 
sanitize your hair. Shoot. I'm going to have to probably, uh, guys, because I, I, oh, this is unfortunate. I mean, I can come back to it later, but the sports connections is, yeah, that's questionable whether I'm going to include that today or not. I mean, I'll have to do it later, I guess. Shoot. All right. Um, no, what's going on here? So we need to remove one and three of these four are good. Normal, quick, tizzy, and sanitized. And of course, I'm dealing with a purple category, but I'm stuck on yellow. Tizzy is a little bit of a blind spot for me. Quick, normal, sanitize, and tizzy. How could three of those go to bed? Could go together? Darn it. I feel like it's going to be these three. Tizzy. I'm in a bit of a twizzy. Normal. Quick. Eh. Oh boy, guys. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on here. Um, normal. Norm. T norm. Like the guy's name again I'm kind of playing with. Normal. Come on, normal, quick, and tizzy have to go together. Lather, rinse, sanitize, sweat, stew, all involve something with water. Lather, would it be lather? And then you would have uh, rinse, sanitize, sweat, and stew. As, yeah, actually, that makes more sense because those would be more like, I think, cleaning something, whereas lathering doesn't clean anything. Um, and are these types of rinses or types of things that, I don't know, something to do with your hair? No! Oh my god. What is going on here? Ugh. Okay, let's... Fuck. Okay. This tizzy is definitely driving me crazy. Um... Normal could be, um, you know, of course, being like a math nerd, I keep thinking about like normal distribution, stuff like that, stupid stuff, which I know is not, nothing here is a distribution, but it could be like um, something with settings, nor like a normal, you could have a normal setting. Uh, uh, normal you hmm, rinse eh, normal and rinse what would that be for and then it could be like a command i want to rinse it i want to sanitize it which is something that we've tried before and then oh man what, what else would you do i don't think i don't think we're going to stew it or sweat it definitely not tizzy that's ridiculous i mean the only thing that sort of sounds like a like some command for some appliance would be quick Hi. Hi. Um, you, I'll, wait, I'll meet you in the yeah. classroom. And um, so that will be, uh, guys, I obviously need to um, uh, wrap up here. So we're going to go quick, rinse, sanitize, normal. That actually sort of sounds pretty good. I feel like that could be uh, some sort of an appliance. What the heck would it be? Um... What? 
like a garbage disposal, but you don't rinse it. I don't know. And then lather tizzy sweat stew. What the heck? I don't even know which is yellow or purple. Lather tizzy sweat stew. Guys, I'm breaking on this. I hope these are like settings for something. Oh my God, what? Dishwasher cycle. See, I never use the dishwasher. There's some things that I do and there's some things that my wife does. She's definitely in control of the dishwasher cycles. That's embarrassing not to know that though. What the heck is this? This is yellow. I mean, the only thing I can say is that I think tizzy is when you're in a little bit of like a, an excited state, like, like I was just about a few seconds ago because I was about to fail this thing. I can't believe we got it. I would just say, is this in kind of like some state of excitement or confusion? The heck, but what? Flustered state. I've never heard of, I'm in a bit of a lather. I kind of get the stew. I'm in a stew. Sweat. Eh, I guess like no sweat. Don't worry about it, guys. Whoa, what the heck happened on that one? I mean, the only thing, the only thing that I got was, you know, fast, not even fast moving water. I just said water features or something. The only thing I got was fitness. That was an absolute disaster. I can't believe we survived. By a little thread, we hang on to our streak. Guys, we'll just we'll decide if I'm going to go uh, and do the uh, sports. I'll have to add it a little bit later. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to have to close the video, start my lesson. And of course, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of connections. What's up, everybody? We're going to do the connection sports edition for October 1st. Uh, I don't even have my green screen behind me. So we're just in a classroom right now. And let's go ahead and hit play and see how we do. Hopefully we can do a little bit better than the regular connections. That was an absolute disaster. We've got Mayo. Mayo. I'm pretty sure there's a player named Mayo. Sounds football. Mustard, landslide, Everett. What? Everett. Laffer, Canales, King, Pop, Zip, Graf. Okay, that's Steffi Graf. Runaway, Callahan, Sharapova, McDonald, Velocity, and Romp. I feel like this is almost a misspelling. I know there's a famous tennis player, female tennis player, Chris Everett. I don't think it's spelt that way, though. Um, and the other one, I'm not sure of. But we have a, you know, we've got a category going here. Oh, I think this is going to be my first fail, guys. This is just going to be really hard. Um, zip. Pop. You can give it some zip, some pop, some velocity, some romp. Oh, and then you've got runway. Run, oh, a runaway. Hmm. A runaway. <sighs> mm, this one's going to be tough. Um... Zip, pop, velocity. Landslide. I guess you could win by a, a landslide. The game, you could win by a landslide. You, it could be a runaway game. But there's not much else that goes there. A laugher. Oh, actually, you do. Oh, some like I know in baseball, even in football, when the game, when the score is so lopsided, you call it a laugher. And you can romp the other team. Is this basically when one team has its way with another? Yeah, otherwise known as a blowout. Okay, cool. Um, okay, that's fantastic. I'm still a little bit nervous about the uh, female tennis players because none of those would have been their last names anyway. You can have some pop, some zip, some velocity. Hmm. Oh, some mustard, mayo and mustard. That's funny. I wonder if these are just some slang for just like when, when a ball, particularly in baseball, just, you know, you really just crush it. Canales. Oh boy. Straightening out these names is going to be really hard. Let's try, um, Mustard, because I don't think I know of anybody with the last name of Mustard. Is this basically when the ball has a lot of um, 
I mean, basically when you just hit the ball really hard. Speed, okay. Here we go, guys. This is, ah, uh, shoot. So we've got Sharapova, Steffi Graf. Unless this, it is a name and they didn't misspell it and it's somebody else, but it's Chris Everett. Um, darn it. I wish they put somebody more obvious, like, um, the, um, the famous sisters, um, the famous sisters, shoot, I'm drawing a blank on them, but you guys know who exact, exactly who I'm talking about. One of them, their name begins with an S. Anyways, um, like, is it? Oh, yes. Is it Sabrina Williams and Venus Williams? Oh, boy. Okay. So here's the problem. I basically, I, assuming that these three are correct, uh, we're just going to have to go through these until I get the other famous female tennis player. I'll try McDonald. Okay. Let's try Canales. Okay, interesting. So Canales was not even one away. Hmm, interesting. Now this is going to be a fail. Leo? Leo? One of my students is here. I'm tempted to have him help me. The thing is, he's not a tennis player. He's crew. I don't know what to do, guys. This is unfortunate because I think I had three in a row. But I just, ah, shoot. Sharapova, Steffi Graf. I think that's a misspelling on purpose. It's somebody else. Because when I did this one, right, it was already guessed and it wasn't even one away. So that means I think I need to keep Sharapova and Graf. Who else could these players be? I don't know. Maybe we'll just try King and Canales. Ah, oh, that's too bad. So let's go ahead and see what we, what happened here. So women to achieve career Grand Slam. So it was Everett. Okay, fine. I just I'm gonna look that up. Chris Everett. Shoot, that is correct. Okay. Um, King, Sharapova, just didn't get the right combination. First year NFL head coaches, Callahan, Canales, McDonald, and Mayo. I just don't, I'm not really familiar with any of those guys. First year NFL head coaches. What does that even mean? I mean, all head coaches have to have a first year. 
mean, it's a, what does that mean? Were they assigned head coach status their very first year? And like normally you have to work your way up. That's the only thing I can think of. Guys, that was not good. We failed, unfortunately. Um, so there will be some weak spots for me, um, especially all these different names. And you could come up with thousands of different things that I just wouldn't really be too familiar with. Um, oh, well, um, that's unfortunate. But the main connection streak does stay alive. And I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow for the next round of Sports Connections.